What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy, and today we're back with another unboxing video for you this time. It's going to be Snorlax GX. So I'm actually super excited about this. This is our very first uh, GX card that we can actually use. They've made some uh, Lunala and Solgaleo boxes with some jumbo cards, but none that you can actually use. So this is the first ever GX cards. That's really exciting. Um, since there haven't been any made yet, there won't be any until the Sun and Moon set comes out here officially. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely awesome. And it also comes with another Snorlax promo card, which I totally forgot about. I was mainly buying it just for the uh, GX, but cool, we get another promo. So yeah, let's uh, see what all is in this thing. Let's see, you get two promo cards, as we saw, one oversized card, four booster packs, and a code card to, I'm just guessing, unlock the promo Snorlaxes. So that sounds good to me. Let's open this guy up and uh, see what kind of stuff that Snorlax can give us. Truth be told, I don't even know what type of packs come in this. Um, I think I saw a breakthrough in there, so that's okay with me. That's a pretty good set. And I'm just the worst at opening these boxes. I feel like in every unboxing video I do, I never successfully actually open this up. Or open these up well, at least. Okay, so I'm just going to sit the box right back. Oop. Well, I was going to sit it right there. <laughs> uh, if it will stay up, I'd like to at least look at Snorlax. Okay, so we might not get to be able to do that. So here we have all of our cards that we're getting. And as usual, I'm always terrified of pulling promo cards out of here since they hardly ever come out uh, easily because of these little prong things here. Okay, but yeah, actually I didn't do too bad this time. So let me see if I can actually do this, maybe. Just to use as like a little bit of a backdrop, backdrop for us. So first of all, let's take a look at this card. This is actually really cool. It's the uh, it's done in the old jungle Snorlax style, so that's kind of cool. Um, looks very similar to the cards we got from Evolutions. So let's see what this guy does. 130 hit points. That's great for a basic ability. Can't be affected by special conditions. Not a horrible ability, but special conditions really aren't that popular, generally speaking. It has the attack body slam, four energies for 50. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active is paralyzed. Oh my god, this is terrible. Four energy for 50 damage, are you kidding me? So, I'm a little disappointed in this card, but nevertheless, it looks awesome. And it's kind of cool that we got uh, another one of these evolution style cards, since I kind of thought that was going to be the only ones that we would get. So that's cool. We'll sit our homeboy Snorlax back there. And most importantly, let's take a look at the GX. I'm really excited about this. So this thing looks absolutely incredible. It has the new hollow pattern. I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like wavy type of looking. So that just looks awesome. All right, so GX, in case you guys haven't seen these yet, these are going to be the new mechanic that replaces the current EX mechanic. Uh, starting with Sun and Moon base set. Um, they're basically EXs, but they actually, some of the evolutions actually have to evolve into them instead of just being basics. And they all have a GX move. It's like a move you can only use once per game. So let's take a look at Stormlax and see what makes them tick. So 190 hit points, that's super good for a basic. Most EXs only have like 170, 180. Collapse, three energy for 80. This Pokemon's asleep. Um, let's see, Thunder Snore, 5 energy for 180, and can only be used if this Pokemon is asleep, so that's interesting. And then for the same attack co cost, Pulverizing Pancake, a whopping 210, and this Pokemon is now asleep. So, Stronix is actually pretty strong there. Uh, I don't really know what deck this would fit into, uh, just off the top of my head here, just looking at it. But, I mean, it's not the worst card ever. 5 energy is a little steep, but 210 is actually a pretty decent number, especially with Fighting Fury Belt on this thing. You can hit for 220, and that knocks out basically everything that's relevant currently in the game. So, yeah, that, that guy just looks incredible. I love this card. 
So let's see what packs we got here. Alrighty, so move that out the way. So it looks like we got ourselves two evolutions, one breakthrough, and one fates collide. So let's uh, let's start with the oldest and work our way up to the current one. So breakthrough, I believe, is the oldest out of these packs. Zorak break right there. And there's a lot of good stuff we can potentially get out of this. This set had Mega Mewtwo. It has the Rainbow Road Xerneas. I believe Fright Knight Eveltal. Uh, Raikou Magnezone. Bunch of cool stuff. So let's see if we can grab something neat out of this set. So here we have our boy Magnemite. Ralts. Chespin. Noibat. Piplup. Skyla, Glalie Spirit Link, the Dene, Reverse Hollow Rufflet, and a Smeargle. And oh man, I'm actually kind of bummed. It looks like the uh, cards are damaged in the corner. So I guess I'm, I might be happy to a degree that I didn't get like an Ultra Rare because I'd be pretty salty if uh, we got a damaged EX or something right out of the pack. So let's go on the Fates Collide and see if there's anything better. And hopefully at least the cards are in normal condition. I definitely don't want to get any damaged cards if possible. Oh, forgot the card trick. Alright, cool. So let's see what we can get here. Maybe some Alakazam stuff or Zygarde even. So let's see, we got Gothita, Solosis, Meowth. Jigglypuff, Riolu, Devolution Spray, Duosion, Whimsicott, Reverse Hollow Spoink, and... Oh, okay, cool. So, we did get an EX, not the most playable, but we did get a Mega Altaria EX. So that's cool, it has the Mist Perch attack. If this Pokemon has any special energy attached to it, it does 30 more damage and heal 30 from each of your Pokemon, so... Like I said, not the greatest attacker, but still, it's an EX, so it's hard to be too upset over that. So we'll definitely take that. We'll let them chill back here with our, our Snorlaxes. And, uh-oh, I'm about to knock everything over. Uh-oh, we're about to have a disaster. Okay, cool. Saved all that from tipping over. Anyway, so here we have our Evolutions Packs, the newest set that just came out. So all these cards should look like the Stormlax we got. Kind of has that old base set type of look to them. Alrighty, so let's see. Card trick. And there's actually a decent amount of cards I still don't have from this set. Um, we did do some booster box openings, so if you want to check those out, I'll be sure to put a link to those as well. So here we have Ponyta, Drowsy, Electabuzz, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Magmar, Potion, Pokedex, Revive, and just a rare Starmie. But Starmie is actually a pretty decent card. Has that Space Beacon ability to let you discard a card from your hand and get two basic energies back into your hand. So that's kind of cool. You can use it with maybe like Volcanion or Greninja or something. So not a terrible card. Let's see if this last pack can hook us up with something epic to close out this unboxing. So I don't have Mega Charizard yet from this set, or not the full art one at least, so that would definitely be cool to get. Or uh, I think I'm still missing some breaks as well, so let's just see. Hopefully we get something. So Poliwag, Pikachu, Ponyta, Nidoran, Vulpix, Metapod, Okay, so we have a Secret Rare in Makuni's Do Duo. Um, well, I say Secret Rare, but these cards really aren't the same rarity as normal Secret Rares. They just kind of take the uncommon slot in a couple packs. But this card is ridiculous, in case you guys haven't seen this in Makuni's Do Duo. So it doesn't have an ability. It has a Pokemon power. So blast from the past there. Uh, and when Do Duo retreats, hold this card and throw it as hard as you can because Do Duo is running away. Throw the card horizontally with a snap to get the farthest distance. So this is uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, and it has the attack harmonized for a double colorless. It does 30. 
From the moment you use this attack, you must begin to sing a song. And what, while the song is being sung, the game continues. And when the, the song is finished, this attack does 30 damage. So absolutely hilarious to play with. Uh, I don't think you can use this on PTCGO. And it even has text saying you can't use it in tournaments. But <laughs> I'd imagine this would be hilarious to play just some, some practice games for fun with this thing. So we have a Haunter. Oh, okay, cool. So we have a break at least. Starmie break, not my favorite from the set, but hey, I was saying I wanted something to close the, the box out on, on a good note. So this could be it. So Starmie and a rare Eradicate, which actually isn't a bad card either. So out of that last pack, we actually did okay. We got a Starmie break, and then we also got the Imakunisto duo, which not a playable card or anything, but it is kind of hard to pull. So that's okay. So Honestly, overall, not a bad box, just for four packs, and oh my god, Snorlax is tipping over. Oh well. So I'll just do a quick recap. So, like I said, we got the Emakunis Duo and Starmie. We got that nice-looking uh, Mega Altari EX, and of course our two Snorlax promo cards. And I'm just really excited for these GX cards to come out. It's always exciting when Pokemon introduces a new uh, mechanic into the game, so... I'm definitely looking forward to Sun and Moon. I'm sure we'll do some coverage for that going into the future as well. So be on the lookout whenever that eventually happens. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. As usual, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merch over at RareCandyTCG.com. Pick yourself up a playmat or a shirt or something. We have a couple things on sale. Uh, it would definitely help the channel out a lot. But with that, I appreciate you watching, and we will see you for the next one, okay?